Hi everybody, O'Gare out here at the Fishing Shack and welcome to this week's Fishing Chums Fishing Report. Boy, cool weather. How about this? We love it. It's going to be absolutely beautiful for the upcoming weekend. Maybe another front sneaking in here Saturday night, but overall it's going to be pretty. Boy, that's good. And the fish are biting. I promise you that. We have some great reports for you. In fact, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, Truman. Good crappie fishing out there. Some good cat fishing as well. Boy, Stockton's really producing some pretty fair walleye fishing, and the crappie fishing is good. And over at Palmy, crappie fishing has been real good. Table Rock, Bull Shoals, the bass fishing is picking up, so we have a lot to talk about. Hey, we're going to be talking about stripers out at Beaver. Not strippers, but <laughs> stripers. Let's go fishing, Kathy! Well, that's right. We have some good fun here for you on today's show. And first of all, I want to thank all you viewers last week. Over 10,000 viewers and on Facebook and also YouTube. God bless you. That, that's a bunch of viewers for after Labor Day. And uh, Brandon and I and Kathy want to thank you very much. Boy, we've got some good fishing ahead of us this fall, so stick with us. Golly. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's start things out here. Let's go out to uh, Beaver Lake. We start things out there every week. And Arthur Kennedy was out the other day, and look at this nice striper that he caught in about 70 foot of water. Boy, they've been catching several stripers out there the last week in that, that 70 foot range. And uh, they're still picking up some nice crappie, too, at Beaver. I've had reports, reports back in the creek areas around the pole timber and the brush, some around the docks, some out on the main lake. So you may want to check Beaver out this weekend. Some fair bass fishing going on, and they're still catching some nice trout down below the dam. A few walleye, a few walleye are being caught off the points at the lower end of Beaver Lake. But, boy, good stripers occasionally, and some pretty doggone good uh, crappie fishing at Beaver. And that water temperature out there was 81 degrees this morning. Let's go out to Table Rock. The water temperature was 80 degrees this morning. Mike Boyles was out this morning, this morning, and he had a client, his clients out. He's a good guy. He always gets his people fish. And look at this happy couple with that beautiful smallmouth right off the bat this morning. Good going, Mike. You're a great guide. Boy, your people are always happy. And I was out the other day with my my wonderful friend, Carla Perry. And look what Carla and I did. We caught a few fish. It was a little tough. But isn't that a beautiful spot? Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful fish. So Table Rock, good going, Carla. Boy, we had a lot of fun. All right, now Table Rock's been pretty doggone good. You know, it, it's kind of in between in between uh, summer and fall. You know, it's always a little lull there. You have to work for them sometimes. But we've had several reports. Bring a good topwater bait with you or two. Uh, bring some uh, uh, some uh, Ned rigs. Bring some drop, drop shots, I'm sorry. And they've been picking up some fish on square bill crankbaits. Also some spinner baits up in the creek areas and a buzz bait once in a while. And uh, rattle traps. All these baits will catch fish along with jigs. So Table Rock looks fair. You may have to work for them, but it looks pretty good for the upcoming weekend with this beautiful weather. This is about what we've been wanting. It's a little overcast, a little cool. Gee, things are really going to start happening. I think we're going to have a great fall at Table Rock. few crappie are being caught up in the creek arms and the pole timber and the brush. Also, we've had reports up in the Cape Fair area and the James River and the sunken brush piles in about 15 feet of water, kind of experiment on jig and minnow combination. I tell you what, if you can get a, 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 a nice chartreuse jig, maybe with a pink head, tip it with a minnow, I think you're going to catch some fish. And occasionally, they're picking up some walleye still, they're working for them up in the White River Arm and also the the, uh, the James River Arm, been trolling those uh, uh, crankbaits, you know, the uh, uh, flicker minnows or the flicker shad, something to get down around 15 feet of water on the average. They're working for them, but they are picking up one occasionally. Over at Lake Tanicomo, 57 degrees water temperature out there this morning, and they've been catching trout. It's the same thing, boy, for the last several weeks. Drifting night crawlers are still the best bait. Night crawlers. 
And as I said the other day on the program, get yourself just a regular hook, like a gold crappie hook. Put a split shot up above it about oh, seven or eight inches and just tip it with maybe a half a night crawler. You want something that will just bounce that thing off the bottom when you're running water and you're drifting. And if you get things too heavy, it's going to be getting hung up all the time. So just a, you kind of experiment with your split shot. Get something to just bounce. And I'm telling you, you're going to catch some trout out of Tanicomo this weekend. No doubt about it. We're not running water. Go to the uh, four-pound, two-pound test line with small jigs. And, of course, that Berkeley pink uh, trout worm. That pink trout worm picking up some fish. They're putting a float or strike indicator about four or five feet up above that pink worm cook it kind of, hook it kind of uh, uh, kind of wacky style right in the middle pitch that out let it fall down slowly you'll catch some fish using that bait out at tandy como as well okay at bull shoals that water temperature out there was 79 degrees this morning and I think things are going to start busting wide open out at Bull Shoals. They like these overcast days. Boy, the bass will move up a little bit. If you have a little bit of wind, square build crankbaits are doing good. And they've been picking up some fish uh, uh, back in the creek arms, just a few. They're starting to pick up some fish, flipping jigs in the brush piles. Also, rattle traps. They've been picking up some fish also, slow rolling spinner baits. Maybe try some topwater baits as well. Out on the main lake, they're going out on the long gravel points. Uh, might want to use a drop shot or a Ned rig, and uh, some people are spooning out there, and, and especially the brighter days and maybe 20, 30 feet of water. And so I uh, might try Bull Shoals this weekend. Good lake, good lake, and the water clarity is really nice out there. And they've been picking up a few walleye out at Bull Shoals. What the boys have been doing is using bottom bouncers with a uh, leader, maybe with a small spinner. Uh, and just put a half a night crawler on there, bottom bouncing some of those points. On overcast, little breezy days, go to the spoons, 25, 30, 35 feet of water in that range right there. That when they do catch a walleye out at Bull Shoals, it's generally a nice one. A few crappie are starting to show up uh, at Bull Shoals too. Try some of the brush piles and around some of the docks. Okay, let's go out to Stockton. Look at Sherman Hudson was out the other day. Look at these fish. My golly, Sherman, good going. And the cr crappie fishing has really been nice out at uh, Stockton. Boy, they've been picking up some nice, nice fish. Also, we had a report out at Stockton. Um, the, the, uh, the walleye have been good the last couple of days. We've had good reports of walleye fishing. Some of the people are using bottom bouncers with small spinners with a half a night crawler. Some of the people are just using a half a night crawler with a, with a jig. And some people are trolling the uh, thicker minnows and up a little bit shallower. You know, might want to try that 12, 14, 16 foot water off some of these points and secondary points. But some nice walleye, good eating size fish have been caught out at Stockton. By the way, that water temperature out there was 76. Seven degrees, I believe, this morning. Boy, it's starting to cool off. The days are getting shorter. The fish are starting to move. And they've been picking up some nice bluegill at Stockton out in about 20, 25 feet of water, just on part of a night crawler with a small jig or a small hook. Might be fun for the kids this weekend. And uh, boy, the crappie, though, by golly, some nice crappie are being caught out there. And it, some are still up on the flats, some are back in the creek arms, up, uh, up in the river arms. Some people are just using jigs, other people are using jigging minnows, some pushing and pulling, crankbaits. Try Stockton this weekend, I'm telling you. Hey, we want to say, let's go out to Palmy, Palm de Terre, love that lake. And Eric Massey was out the other day with his son. And look at Zach. Boy, that Zach is a fisherman, isn't he? Look at the, <laughs> that, that boy's a fisherman. And they have been doing extremely well out at Palm de Terre. Really catch some fish. And Eric said the other day they caught him real shallow. So experiment on your depth out there. And so, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, uh, that's some good fishing. He always gets into those crappie out there. There's no doubt about it. And they've been picking up these fish on jigging minnows. And uh, we've had some reports also, a uh, few fish being caught in some of the brush piles, but some of the timber. But boy, experiment. Like Eric said, get up. Don't be afraid to get too shallow out there right now. And the bass fishing's been pretty good at Palm de Terre. Been picking up some fish in the morning hours, a little, a little topwater bite. And they've been picking up uh, some nice bass on plastic baits, jigging, 
and they've been having some fair success out there on a little bit of spinnerbait fishing and square bill crankbait fishing. Pretty good cat fishing out at Pommy, I heard as well. Mainly cut shad and big balls of earthworms or night crawlers. Okay, let's go out to Truman. My gosh, look at Jerry Miller was out the other day. Look at this big old cat. He caught. Jerry, good going, buddy. That's an awful nice fish at Truman. The cat fishing's been real good. And we've had also uh, reports. Here's Charles Pickett was out the other day, just yesterday, and picked up this nice cat. Man, the cat fishing on the main lake at Truman is going quite well. And we had a report of, uh, look at Richard Brown and his wife was with Darren Anderson just the other day. And look at these crappie he caught out at Truman. Boy, nice crappie. Good going, guys. Hey, I'll tell you what, the crappie fishing is still good out there. Not a lot of people fishing for them. But you want to fish for these crappie on the pole timber and those old long hedgerows that come out, the dead hedgerows. Get out there and start fishing maybe shallow and kind of work deep. Jig and minnow has been the best overall bait. And they've been picking up some fish, of course, around some of the cedar trees, around some of the flats, getting back in some of the creek arms. Hey, I tell you what, some nice crappie are really being caught at Truman right now. Good size fish, really nice size fish. By the way, the bass fishing has been good. Boy, there's been a lot of nice bass caught on a variety of baits. The last few weeks we've been talking about fishing the points and secondary points with big plastic worms. They're still picking up some fish on plastic worms, but now with the cooler weather, the water temperature dropping, and the bass are moving more, and we've had reports on spinner baits, we've had reports on buzz baits. Back in that Bucksaw area, I've heard some good reports of bass being caught. So try Truman this upcoming weekend, trolling for walleye occasionally. A, a nice walleye can be caught in a KK Island area and off some of the points on the main lake, flicker shad or flicker minnows. And uh, once in a while, those hybrids, boy, the guys are getting into the hybrids and white bass out there as well. Okay, look at this. Darren Kim was out the other day at Lake the Ozarks. Look at these two beautiful Beautiful crappie. I tell you what, the crappie are moving a little bit more this week in the past weeks. They've been picking some fish up off the docks, the corner of the docks, pits and jigs or jigging minnows. They're still picking up some fish on the points and secondary points out at Lake of the Ozarks. And some people are pushing and pulling some uh, crankbaits. Other people are using jigging minnows, getting in the brush pile. And, uh, but they're starting to move some around the docks too, so check this out. Good crappie fishing at Lake the Ozark is getting better. It's getting better all the time. Bass fishing has been pretty good at the lake. They've been picking up some fish uh, on the points and secondary points. They've been using, gosh, uh, square build crankbaits, especially with a point with a little bit of wind on it. Some people are catching some fish on slow rolling spinner baits. That's good. And also, they've been uh, picking up some nice bass occasionally. You'll see some fish come up briefly, always have a top water bait ready and pitch it out there and see if you can catch that fish. That's for sure. Norfolk, well, we've had some good reports on Norfolk. Gosh, a good place to be right now. The crappie fishing the last couple of weeks really improved at Norfolk. Had a good report this week, some nice quality fish being caught out there and in the brush and the tree rows and the hardwoods. And uh, they've been picking up some fish in the sunken brush piles too. But boy, some nice, nice uh, crappie at Norfolk. Still picking up a few crappie in about 30 feet of water and uh, get out to Norfolk this weekend. Looks good. Well, we want to thank you very much for being with us today. Doggone it. Uh, once again, we want to thank all of our viewers last week, over 10,000 viewers. Gosh darn, that is awesome. That is awesome. And Kathy and I have some great photos coming up here in a minute, so don't go anywhere. Some fun photos. Well, we want to uh, invite you to like and share. We enjoy having some new people joining our family over on Facebook. And uh, we would like you to subscribe. Just subscribe right there. Subscribe. And then you'll, you won't miss out on any of the fun. And if you'd like to send us some photos or fishing information, just go to uh, well, email us. Email us at fishingchums at gmail.com. Well, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Once again, another front sneaking in Friday or Saturday night, so it might be a, a little unstable, but I think it's going to be good. It's going to be about 80 on Saturday and back in the 70s for several days to come. Sounds like fall to me. Fall's finally here, guys. God bless you. Get out there and get bit this weekend. Check you next week. Roll them, Kathy.